Today we're going to uh, our downstairs uh, gym. It's where Mac got his vertical. <laughs> That's really in the seventh grade when he started coming down here. And people think that his vertical comes from one thing. It doesn't come from one thing. It comes from years of doing different exercises and, and putting it all together and having a plan and, and working hard, not for one year or two years. I mean, you're, ta you're talking about it. that all came together since you know, it was six years of work. And he, and he, I mean, it's not one day a week or two days a week. It's a seven day a week plan, and that plan may be just recovery, but you've got to have a plan. Right, this where it goes down. Up. This made me the person I am today. Max never had another trainer, and I'm Mac of always. Um, I've always trained them and, and their teams. Uh, Zach has been working out with Mac for about five or six years now. And the other guys on the team come here. What I think like really improved my athleticism was like these dot drills and these uh, ladders and doing a bunch of like you know one-legged stabilizations and box jumps was great too and just a little everything. Well, it, originally it was just a little place over here. And then with Mac and when the boys got here, the boys just take up so much more room than the girls, so we added both sides and, and put it all together. But we do a lot of footwork, especially when Mac was young, so a lot of his dumps, like everybody's like, wow, you can really explode. But if, if you watch Mac and his dunks, he's not like timing it up to dunk, or he's not shifting his feet to make sure his steps are right. And I, and I contribute that to his ability with the footwork that we did when he was younger. But just the, the years of working on his footwork, he just goes up, right? He goes up without having to, to get everything right and steps and to generate that power. His ability to generate that power from different positions is something that he's really worked on and does a good job with. We have really have two sides. We have this side over here where we do the, the plyometrics, the agilities, the stretching, the recovery. And then this side over here, we do more of the strength uh, training. We have the regular weights, just running the meal stuff. All the flags represent like everybody in my family, like who they, if they played for a certain team. Or, like my sister played on the US, the US national team in soccer. The workouts are here, and not just for Mac, Zach, and Bradley. It's for, for everybody on the team works out here. Mac has really invested a lot uh, in the community and into the team. And I think the team, he's gotten a lot out of that investment. I think they truly enjoy each other. I think it's not only a special year for the people here, but we, as a fan and, and, and parents, we enjoy watching how much they like playing together. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's part of the show that they put is that they care so much about yeah. each other. That's one thing the community wants to see and the Gate City people, they just want to see what's going to happen next. But they also, you know, it's kind of contagious. You can't help but enjoy watching them play just because everybody's having so much fun. Yeah. You know, we're always hanging out with the players. We're always chilling, bobbing, milli rocking. But you know what you got to do? If you want to keep seeing that, you got to check out the other videos. And you got to subscribe. Click subscribe, and you'll see the moves. Hey, 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 hey.